Hey guys, welcome to IBK. Today we have something very special for you. Now, I gotta say that this comp like this comparison video is really kind of a personal thing too because as you guys know, I love the G502 mouse and I love the Logitech mouse. And the reason why I love the Logitech mouse is because this free scrolling mechanism that these mouses have. Uh, I code, I game, and when I code, I need this free scrolling. Once I get to code that's really long, this just helps me so much, gets me, you know, do things faster, more efficiently, and it's just easier than trying to scroll like this. And that's why I'm a big advocate for a free scrolling mouse. And another bad thing about that is that I couldn't get away from Logitech because no other mouse in the market had such mechanism. But Razer finally decided to come up with their own way of free scrolling. And I gotta say, when this came out, I was so curious if this was a better mouse in general. So I had to get these both. They're both wireless. I'm trying to compare the wired version, the cheapest versions of these you can get. And after using this for a few days, I have a good idea what they're like, the pros and cons, and which one is better. All right, so let's get right to it, okay? First of all, the Logitech G502X wired. Fantastic mouse, fantastic update. Every revision that they did, everything that they thought of improving for the original G502, they did like exceptionally well. And I gotta say, as far as hardware goes, number one, all right, let's talk about, I'm gonna talk about three things, but let's talk about number one. As far as hardware goes, I say Logitech like takes the crown. The crispness of this right here, how it feels when you click, you gotta start gaming, you gotta start clicking, you gotta get into the moment and you start to realize, man, it's fresh, it's crisp, it's fast, it works very well, and it doesn't tire your hands. Something about this design right here, for me at least, I, I grab my mouse like this, it's, it's perfectly angled so that it doesn't tire my hand. And it's just comfortable to use. I can use this for a very long time, uh, and I won't be having any wrist problems, all right? So that's very important to me. I love the layout, everything is the same, the back button, the forward button, DPI sensors, like everything is just as I, how I remember it, but seems a little bit more efficient, a little bit more ergonomic to use. And I can reach the sniper button very easily now, which is a big plus. Like I didn't have to, you know, extend my fingers all the way to hit it like the previous G502 mouse. So that little clever thinking on the engineer's part and the fact that this is replaceable, you just need to take it out or you could like make it a dead key if you wanted to, is something that Logitech did right. So kudos for them, I really like this mouse. Also the new feet, uh, very slippery, very easy to use, I love it. There's less, um, right here so it's just it just feels great and it tracks very well this is a white surface tracks no problem these days mouses track very well on every surface so you're not gonna have an issue with that and it's just gonna be very easy to use all right now one thing is this cord a lot of people has been asking yes it's a simple rubber cord cord um kind of thin if you ask me i'm surprised they didn't go with braiding but because it's very light it doesn't really like add any weight so when you're moving the mouse around, as long as it's fixed somewhere up there, up there, it's gonna be fine. Um, I don't mind it at all. Will it be frayed after years of usage or months? I don't know, to be honest, I don't think it will, but you know, that really depends on your environment, right? If you have a um, wire that keeps like rubbing against something in your computer, I'd say move it, because it is gonna fray it, but if not, it shouldn't be a big problem, right? This doesn't cause too much friction, um, if, unless you're shaking this every day for hours and hours. Then maybe it might be a problem, but you know, I understand. A lot of people want braid, they think it's tougher. It is, like this uh, razor right here, this is braid. I can definitely see this being tougher. And it's also light. So if I was to choose between this and that, I would say go with this. But I wonder if the color had to do something with that. It is white, maybe it is hard to get white braids. So maybe, right? Anyways, I would say don't worry about it, but it's not as thick as I like and it's not braided, all right? Number two. So number two that I wanna talk about is, uh, well, first also, let's talk about this, right? Number two, the cost. 
Um, this is kind of an expensive mouse. I'm not gonna lie for the wire version. I was a little, a little bit surprised. They started out at 80 bucks. And uh, I think it's because, you know, maybe inflation, the price went up and it is more expensive than this. I can find these for like 50 bucks right now. So there is a $30 difference. I do want to say that this mouse came out a while back and this is more newer. So maybe as time goes, you can find better deals, maybe Black Friday is in sales. Maybe the price of this mouse will come down. One can hope, but I'm not 100% guaranteeing it. But if you talk about price alone, this is definitely more expensive, right? But I gotta say, for 30 bucks more, um, you are getting, I guess, the guarantee of Logitech. If you're a Logitech fan, then you're getting a premium product. Again, like I said, the crispness, the, the feel of this mouse, it's fantastic, so the hardware is amazing. And when I compare hardware alone, I actually prefer this mouse. When I talk about comfort, I actually prefer this mouse. And I've been playing with these two mouses for days and days and days. These are like hair splitting decisions, by the way. They're both neck and neck, but when it comes to like, all right, if I gotta choose one, just one, what are you gonna choose? For comfort, I'll choose this. Very easy to use, very comfortable. And the buttons are, oh, so good so good right so that's why i choose logitech maybe it's worth 30 dollars premium maybe maybe not to you all right number two let's talk about aesthetics when we talk about aesthetics this is a gaming mouse yeah you can use it for coding but these were made for gaming and tell me just looking at it what looks more like a gaming mouse you'd say this especially if you're into rgb you'd say razor and they did a fantastic job with RGB for the $50 price point. I'm actually shocked how cheap this mouse is for all the LED that it looks. It's clean. It looks good. I mean, look at that. All around, they didn't even skimp on it. They even put it on the scrolling. This mouse completes the RGB look if you're going for that look on your desk setup. It's going to complete it. And that's what I love about it. Um, it it's done very well. Like the razor, the snakes, everything is lit up so evenly, so well, and color changing patterns and everything that you can control through chroma looks fantastic. This is just default, like it can just rotate colors, which I personally like. And at night, it just looks fantastic in my desk. So I gotta give uh, kudos for that. I gotta give pounds for that for, for point number two. This mouse, is just as simple as it can be it's bland it's kind of boring yes it is white good job there but still it's kind of boring right there's no rgb the only thing that they have is this button right here on the top and this kind of can change colors right here um but yeah like so you see that that's green that's pink blue orange white it's hard to tell but it's it's very minimal and I'm wondering why they didn't put any RGB here. Maybe they wanted to uh, keep that for the most ultimate plus edition that they have, the most expensive version, which I understand. But if people are cross shopping between the Razer and this, and they're into RGB, and they want the wired version, then it's going to be a miss. So um, I'm not sure. I'm sure marketing had a lot of input on this and the engineers did as well. Maybe they're trying to go light, maybe the power, who knows. All I'm saying is this looks very bland compared to Razer. So if you're looking to complete your RGB setup that you have, definitely think about this mouse. It looks fantastic. So good job, Razer. Hopefully next year you don't raise the prices and keep the RGB away just like this. Hopefully you continue with this process where you give the RGB to the gamers. That's a big, big thing in this world. All right. Uh, the next thing, all right, one other thing that I want to talk about is, let's say, the uh, scrolling right here. So the way this works right here is kind of electric. This is more of a, um, I think, mechanical. You can definitely hear it. This, like, as soon as your computer turns off, it does this little click and things change. But once your computer turns on, it releases it and it starts to free scroll. And I got to say, there is a little bit of weight on this scrolling versus this. This year, Logitech really went light. So the scrolling on this is much more lighter. 
Uh, to be honest with you, I like the hefty feel of this mouse more than this, but ergonomically, again, using it for hours. The way that it's less ribbed right here, very soft, it does give a little bit less of a stress point when you're scrolling a lot. So again, Logitech thought this through. This is the better scrolling, but initially the heavy scrolling here does feel good. I got to give it that. Uh, it reminds me of the older G502 where it was like metallic and heavy. All right. Uh, my question is how reliable is this mouse going to be because this is electronic. Uh, is this going to break after using it for, for years or I don't know. I haven't used it for years yet. It's still pretty new. So we'll see. But uh, I know this will probably last for a while because it's just mechanical, right? And it's Logitech. They've been doing this free scroll forever. So I think it'll be okay. One other thing that I don't like is uh, the hardware buttons. So for this, I love the sniper, like I said. Very easy to click because it's extended out. This is extended out as well, but just not as easy to get. So if you're a sniper, uh, getting hitting this button for sniping is not going to be as easy as for sniping this. So that might be something to think about if you love using the sniping button. Second thing is when you're gaming, sometimes you want to have the sensitivity like right there available for you going up and down. That's what this provides. You can go up and down. So it's, it's very, very easy to use and uh, convenient. Whereas this, you have to kind of cycle through. So like this is also DPI and it goes up, 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 down. And so it's like a cycle, right? So um, that's one thing that Logitech has going for them. And that's why I say hardware as far as hardware is concerned, Logitech did better in my job, in my opinion. All right. So that's about it. Uh, other than that, I'd say that these mouse are pretty much comparable and neck and neck. Uh, you can't go wrong with either of them. You're going to really love using them. And I think it really comes down to style and cost. Like, do you like this clean look without RGB? Sure, you don't need RGB if you're gaming. You're not even looking at your mouse. But, you know, some people prefer it. Some people don't care. Some people just want the best of the best. And I'd say if you want like the best hardware, how it feels, like comfort, ergonomics, in my opinion, it is still the Logitech G502 um, that they just came out with. So that's basically my two cents. If you are into RGB and you don't want to spend, or you're okay with spending more money, go with the wireless. It does have the nice RGB look. So then you can have everything in one package. That's up to you. All right. So, yeah, I want to know, like, what you guys think in the comments below, what you prefer. Um, if you have any questions, just, you know, ask me in the comments. I am pretty good at answering. And please subscribe, you know, like, if you want to hear this, these are all my opinions. I buy all this with my products, my money. So uh, I just try to give, like, just my pure opinion with no bias no stereotype nothing just what i like using for days and days hours and hours and uh, i think both mouses are fantastic if you're going to be using it in the office maybe go for this because this is just too much bling right here that's something to think about all right thank you guys for watching if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments see ya